Oh my goodness me. This is quite a rare spot. A massive turbo. Oh my. I've always loved Peugeot 205. Volkswagen written on them in different colours. Slammed Sierra Estate. Painted on eyelashes. Like being in the lounge. We've got a tidy looking engine. Hi guys, welcome back to another video back on the Driven 24-7 Automotive YouTube channel. Today you join us on Bank Holiday Monday at a car show. I thought it was just for classics, but it's just for any car really. So this is being held at South Coast Carton um, near Bournemouth Airport here in Dorset. And let's see what's here so far. So we're here today in the Nissan. It's a lovely sunny day, so the roofs are out. And here's a uh, selection of cars. So we've got the track here. We're parking on the outside of the track on the grass area. There's loads here so far. We have a massive Buick here. We're going to get a couple of American cars come here. Anything is welcome by the looks. Just look at the overhang on the rear there. Oh wow, I love the interior. It's like a like being in the lounge. Look at the pattern on the seats, Martin. It's all like floral and stuff. Isn't that amazing? It's like sitting in at home. It's lovely. Real nice looking old school Mini in silver. Nice little shiny wheels. And we've got a little OMP steering wheel in here. Little white dials, bit of carbon fibre effect on the dash. Oh, I like the seats as well, actually. Like old Escort Recaro kind of Ford seats. And we've got a tidy looking engine as well. Look at this. A couple of old school Capris here. So here's one of them in orange. We have another one just parked pretty much next to it in a much brighter orange. Austin here. Just loving the two-tone on the old school cars. Oh, it's a big old car. Westminster. Very nice and posh. Slammed Sierra Estate. I know this guy lives locally because I've seen it locally before, but nice to see it at a show. Mustang here. We've got the Match 1 detailing on it. Left-hand drive, of course. Looking nice in the red with the yellow striping down the bottom. Martin used to have one of these. We've got a Toyota MR2. Same blue. Is it blue inside? Yeah, is it fabric as well? Oh, the interior is beautiful, isn't it? So cool, you can't really yeah. see on camera, but nice they little sunroof. It's good condition, actually, isn't it? Pop up headlights, of course. That's clean. Two litre Capri gear here. Looking very clean and original. Even got the Ford mud flaps on. Even they look original, to be honest. Wheels are like new. Little pop out rear windows, have a little look on the inside. Oh, yeah, very brown interior. It's com comfy though, little three spoke steering wheel, gear badge. Got the uh, Morgan, that was actually f at my meet as I filmed this. This was at my meet yesterday, so it's nice to see this here today. This was also at my meet yesterday, but I didn't really get a chance to get the car on camera because the guy's left. So we'll have make the most of it now. Hey. Oh yeah, I pointed at this car earlier and the alarm went off so I won't get too close. Got the nice spoiler on the back. So Sierra XR4i next to a Sierra Cosworth. I mean, oh my. What a pair we've got down here. Absolutely stunning. Got the sunroof on the tilt. This lock for security purposes, of course. Of course, yeah. But they look real nice together. That's an XR4i, Martin. I like the colour on this. This is nice. Triumph TR6. Orange Ford Escort. Yeah. Yeah. GMC truck. Nice patina going on. Another car that was at my meet. A Triumph TR6. Again, didn't really get a chance to get this one on camera when at my meet. But I will do now, that's for sure. Escort RS2000 here. Harris Performance, that is actually my family's last name, so that's pretty cool. I believe I've heard of it before. Got the carbs on there by the looks. Wow, Simpson exhaust manifold. Wow, it's really clean. Of course, in the very lovely Olympic blue. A couple of Mark 1 Golfs here. Got a Mark 1 Escort here and a Mark 1 Fiesta. Just got a couple of cars arriving now, so hence the background. Lovely noise. An Escort XR3i here. My dad's got one of these in convertible form, just sort of stuck in project form at home. Yeah, this brings up memory sitting in the back of one of these. Don't see many X of these really. Got the plastic uh, spoiler on there, the rubber spoiler, shall I say. Yeah, it's nice to see one. Can't see it integrally. Massive 
wheels and tyres on here. Got a yellow and blue under there, it's nice. Left hand drive of course, look at those seats. Have a Reliant here in a couple of different colours, but it is here at the end of the day. Painted on eyelashes there. We'll have a quick look around this. It's like a uh, three door estate. What is it? It's our Reliant Rebel slow moving vehicle sticker on the side. That's quite cool. More of a modern VW Polo. We call these the bread vans. Looks real nice in a kind of light blue colour, really, I'd say. Oh wow, really like the seats. They've got Volkswagen written on them in different colours. That's real cool, I like that. Looks like it's a bit lowered. Polo Boulevard. It's very cool. We have a Riley Elf here and it just looks so, so hard to get in and out of. Looks pretty uh, stealthy as well. But it's so low to the ground. It's got some bucket seat, Cobra bucket seats in there. But it is just so low and so wide. It's just so little. Some of the cars that are arriving later get the privilege of driving around on the track to park up. Such as this big yank. Keith was at my meet yesterday, I told him about this event and here he is. In his Fiat 13, no what is it? Yeah 131. Never get tired of seeing this. This is also parked by this more original Fiat 131. I haven't seen this car before. Got Fiat motor sales, LTD little number plate there. Like a primrose kind of yellow. We'll have a little nosy on inside this. Lovely bright red Capri here. A few Capris here. RS alloys, injection, fish nets, little Burberry kind of seat pattern. Very nice inside. Loving the seats. The 2.8 injection. What a beauty. For some reason, I've always loved Peugeot 205s. So we have, I think it's just the only one here today in a light cream colour nice cloth seats oh a little wooden bit on the steering wheel don't think that's meant to be there but looking real nice lovely colour as well 205 gl bmw e30 in white got the nice chunky oh it says brock brock wheels on there looks real nice he's really suit white nice spot next is old volvo estate <laughs> Looks pretty cool. This has caught my eye ever since I've been at this meet. Just having a chance now to get it on camera to have a look. So we've got a massive Cortina 2.8i, it says on the sort of bumper splitter down there. Real nice multi spoke wheels. It's a bit gangster vibes from this one. Macaro seats. God, it's massive in there. Nice little plaque or something there from a show. Tinted rear lights as well. Yeah, it's a beaut. Oh my goodness me. That looks nice because that car belongs to be driving on gravel because it's a rally looking car. That's a nice Escort. Lotus Elise here. Lovely colour scheme. It's nice they're letting in some modern cars. Not just a classic car show. This is quite a rare spot. So a Mark 1 Escort van. So that engine doesn't look original. We've got a big K and N feel a massive turbo don't know what lump that is though i can't see it's got st on it so it might be an st lump but if we take a look it's just real real nice so we got the sort of half um, alcantara leather seats in there little uh steering wheel tiny little gear knob shifter down there yeah what nice this van is just in such nice condition let's just take a look at the back Oh yeah, the back's quite nice and tasty. I love the way the rear lights are kind of uh, recessed into the actual bodywork of the vehicle at the back. Wow, look at the paintwork on this Austin Healey. I would say, I'm going to use one of Martin's terms, that's absolutely glorious. What a colour scheme. Oh. Oh wow. Yeah, what's going on with the old gear lever down there? A massive Granada estate here. 2.5. I actually, I, f I think I kind of prefer the look of this to a Cortina. Looks really yeah, nice it, condition. It always looks nice when it's got all clear windows. Yeah, it, it does look nice, doesn't it? Look at the massive back window as well. Yeah. This is lovely. 
So we're about to head off now and go and get some food elsewhere because it's mega mega busy here. So it's been a good time visiting this location for this car show. It's been really good. Really glad we came in the Nissan 100 NX. Also, loads of varied cars here. Like I say, not just classics. There was new stuff here as well. So yeah, loads of cars here. Obviously, I'm not going to get them all in the video. You guys know that. But thanks for watching this one. I'll see you in another video.